Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome back to another Blender Quick Tip. Today we are going to be looking at wireframes. Two things we're going to be covering this time, actually. First one is uh, making sure your wireframe shows all the time, not just in edit mode. Very handy, especially if you want to visualize the geometry while you're not editing. And the second thing is rendering a wireframe. Uh, very, very valuable. So first off, let's, let's show quickly what we're talking about here. Um, here's our mesh in object mode. Now, if I switch over into edit mode, you immediately see there's the wireframe. The wireframe is basically your edges being shown. At any time, you can actually hit the Z or Z key, like so, and see an x-ray view that shows your actual wireframe. Uh, or you can move into your edit mode over here and set it into wireframe mode. Now, the problem is a lot of times you actually want to see the solid surface underneath. Uh, and now we're going to look at how to show both while you're in object mode. So let's kick on back to object mode, like so. And the first thing we need to do is come on over to here. Uh, why are you... Oh, am I still in wireframe? Let's go back to solid. All right, there we go. First thing you need to do is come on over and select object tab, or this cube here. And just go on down to display and click wire. So now you'll have your wireframe shown at all time. Very cool, very handy, very easy, uh, but very useful. When, like I said, when you're trying to visualize how things work, but you're not necessarily uh, working in edit. Now, sometimes when you actually are creating a rendered image, you actually want to share this uh, wireframe. You want to have this wireframe overlaid on top. And that is actually quite doable too, but it's a bit more tricky. Uh, let's show you exactly that process right now. So it's very actually simple if you don't care about having an underlying shape. You just come in here over to modifiers, add a modifier, and add a wireframe modifier, and you're done. I'll go ahead and render that. You'll see what I mean. Ooh, I have subsurface on. Uh, so there is the wireframe mesh rendered out. Now what we want to do is overlay that wireframe over top of the existing shape. This requires a couple more steps. First off, let me go back to 3D. And I'll turn, uh, I'll turn that off so that it's not going to be so slow. Okay, so let's undo our modifier. Like so. And what we want to do is actually apply that modifier to an exact copy of our um, of our mesh. I'm just going to the tools here, and we're at zero zero and zero, which is important because what we're going to do now is duplicate this mesh, and then put it in the exact same spot. So do a Shift D, and you'll see over in the top right corner we now have a cube, and a cube got zero zero one. So once again, that command was Shift and D for duplicate. So now if I move the mouse, you'll see we have this exact opposite, exact um, copy of our shape. And I'm just going to bring its position back to 0, 0, 0, so they overlay each other perfectly. Like so. And now what we're going to do is take the second shape and add the modifier to it. And now if we render that... Ah, yeah, this is my bad. All right, ignore that for a second. Let's go back to our original shape. Okay. And... So let's change our camera angle slightly. Okay, so now if I go ahead and I render this guy, you will see nothing. That's why Shadeless was turned on. Okay, sorry. This is actually about my scene. Uh, let me just drop a couple lights in here. That's what the problem is. Uh, I had been using it as a Shadeless modifier, so that's what we're getting. All right. All right, that should do it. Now when we render with some lighting, you will now see our wireframe is drawn over top of our shape. Now that's not always what you're going to want because it's not readily visible. Uh, but this is easily changed. Uh, we just go back into our clone shape. And there's a bit of a caveat here. Our clone shape is actually using a copy of the original material. We don't want that. We want to apply our own material here. So let's click here and make unique. Just so click right there. And then now let's just change our color. We're going to make it a bit of a blue and a light blue like so. And we're actually even going to add a little bit of uh, let's see, emission, so that it's actually giving off a little bit of light. So now when we render that, our wireframe will show in a nice sharp neon blue over top of our image. So that is rendering a wireframe over top of a shape. Very simple, very easy to do. And if you come back here, you can actually control some settings on the wireframe. I don't know what most of these do, to be honest. They don't seem to do anything when I play with them. Uh, but the biggest one is going to be, of course, thickness. So you can change the render thickness of the wires. So there I just about doubled them. And it just makes the, sh the shape more pronounced. Uh, so that's it. That's um, two things, showing a wireframe in object mode and rendering a wireframe over top of your shape. Quick recap. So to show um, the wireframe with your shape selected here, 
go into the object tab, go down to display, and click wire. And it will now show whether you're in um, view, whether you're in edit mode or in object mode, the wireframe will now show up if you set that. Now in terms of rendering a wireframe, create a duplicate of your shape like so, make its material unique, uh, apply the wireframe modifier to it, and render, and you're done. And that's rendering an object in Blender with the wireframe. Now a point of note, the wireframe modifier was added in two point, right around 2.7. Um, so if you don't have a most recent version, in the last two or three versions anyways, you may not have it, and that's why. Uh, so if you don't have the wireframe modifier, you might want to update your Blender. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Bye.